Rihanna dated the most controversial man in the NBA? Let's find out. First up, at number 8, Sasha Vujakic and Maria Sharapova. Many of us don't know about Sasha Vujakic, who is a Slovenian professional who used to play for the New York Knicks, but has had his fair share of international play. The shooting guard has played in both Italy and Turkey, alternating between stints in the United States, originating as a first-round draft pick for the Los Angeles Lakers in 2004. In 2009, he met Grand Slam tennis star and Sports Illustrated model Maria Sharapova at a friend's barbecue. Sharapova has had a long and successful career in the sport and has won four Grand Slam singles. I mean, it's hard to say that you don't know who this tennis legend is. After meeting with each other, they secretly started hooking up and it all became official when word of her engagement to Vujake came almost a year later. And then sadly, two years later, it was all called off. And not on the best terms. During a press conference, when asked about Sharapova, he jokingly stated, quote, I can't hear you. What? Ouch. That must have hurt. At number seven, Chris Humphreys and Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian is a lady who needs no introduction because we all know why she's famous. From her television presence to business presence to modeling, she's absolutely loved or either absolutely hated by everyone. Her growing influence on social media has landed her tens of millions of followers on Instagram and Twitter, which I guess also helped as she was married to rapping icon Kanye West. Kardashian has been married three times now, and out of those entire marriages, one was the most controversial. The specific marriage I'm referring to is the one that had NBA player Chris Humphreys, who was then with the Nets. Now, Chris really doesn't need an introduction, but before the marriage, no one knew him. Like, literally, he was just an average player, and he became known when he popped the question to Kim, and literally, no one even knew they were dating officially, and it was all secrets until the proposal came. The two were married in a two-part series on a show, and after 72 days of marriage, she filed for divorce. Whether the marriage was a publicity stunt or sincere, it took Humphreys off the map just as fast as it put him on it, and they never saw him again. At number 6, Sergi Baca and Carrie Hilson. Carrie Hilson is a singer, actress, and record producer from Georgia who secured her first record deal at the age of 14. Throughout school, she used to write songs for artists such as Britney Spears, The Pussycat Dolls, and Mary J. Blige. After all this, she already was pretty famous. She then signed with rapper Timberland's label, skyrocketing her ear to the top charts with songs such as The Way I Are, Ah, The Nostalgia. In 2012, she began dating professional basketball player Serge Ibaka, who has played on numerous teams, most recently playing for the Clippers. The couple kept things private in many ways, and you can say the relationship was somewhat private. However, the couple ended the relationship back in 2016 after a disappointment in discovering he was not the one. We wonder if Ibaka can find his perfect fit or the one in basketball or not. At number 5, Tristan Thompson caught hooking up with Khloe Kardashian. Khloe is an American television personality and member of the headline topping Kardashian clan. Alongside her sisters, she is among the girls who clearly have a certain type they go after, that being tall, dark, and handsome basketball players. She has seen her fair share of courtside games, watching many of her boyfriends playing. In fact, her relationship only took an official turn when she went to see her boyfriend's basketball game. Just like this, we saw Chloe come to the games for Thompson back in 2017. Thompson attended school in Texas, where he played as the Longhorn and was drafted 4th overall in the 2011 draft, and the highest drafted Canadian-born player in NBA history he was. Just after the pair started dating and the rumors started coming out, his teammates started urging him to cut ties with her before she takes the Kardashian curse any further into the playoffs. Yeah, that good old curse. If you guys don't know about it, the curse refers to the fact that whichever player the Kardashian dates eventually sees his career go down the drain. Which is pretty silly, but not for Ben Simmons. At number 4, Chris Webber and Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks is a notable model and was the first African American woman to be featured on the cover of the Sports Illustrated swimwear issue. She was one of the world's top earning models and was a Victoria's Secret Angel for 8 years. She began to turn her attention to the screen and started to act, before creating the long running reality show America's Next Top Model, and for the record, you would be lying if you said you never tuned in to watch her. 
On the other hand, Chris Webber is a retired five-time NBA All-Star who started and finished his career on the Golden State Warriors. Banks was often seen sitting courtside at Sacramento Kings games while they dated, with rumors swilling that the two were actually engaged as well. But of course, those rumors stopped when she was no longer seen at the games and both moved on after six months of dating. At number three, Amari Stoudemire caught hooking up with Ciara. Ciara is a singer, songwriter, record producer, and actress all rolled into one, hailing from Austin, Texas, before moving to Atlanta. She released her first and best known album, Goodies, in 2004, with a few to follow, but nowhere near as successful as the first. Although the successful hip hop singer is now baby mama to Seahawks star Russell Wilson, she has had her fair share of exes coming from different leagues. She dated power forward Amari Stoudemire, who has played on several teams starting with the Phoenix Suns and finishing with the Miami Heat before crossing the pond to play for Hapiel Jerusalem in Israel. The couple dated around 2011 with the details of the relationship kept extremely private. However, just as Sierra was beginning to think she found someone to settle with, she caught him cheating and ended the relationship, and kicked him to the curb, where he scurried back to his ex and proposed months later. Ouch, not that, man. At number 2, Marco Jaric caught hooking up with Adriana Lima. Adriana Lima is a Brazilian model and actress whose primarily recognition comes from the catalogs and Runaway as Victoria's Secret Most Beautiful Angel. The dark hair and green eyed queen of the runway has been their longest running model and was even named the most valuable Victoria's Secret Angel. At the young age of 15 years old, she won Ford Supermodel of Brazil and the next year took second place in Supermodel of the World. She's known as the world's second highest pays model and elite model management's most prized talent. Well, we might know something about the Serbian NBA player Marko, just kidding, Marko Jaric, the 6'7 retired shooting guard in both the NBA and in the Euroleague. So apparently they started secretly dating in 2005 and things came to our eye when the two married on Valentine's Day in 2009. It took four years for us to find out. And after that, they had two daughters together. After five years of marriage in 2014 though, Lima announced the separation and the divorce was finalized in 2017. Yikes, man. And finally, at number one, J.R. Smith caught hooking up with Rihanna. Rihanna. Yes, you heard me right. The queen of music. And let's face it, the queen of mostly everything else. Famously born in Barbados, the star signed a contract with Def Jam Records after Jay-Z took her under his wing to develop her into what she is known as today. Most of her songs fall into the category of the best-selling singles of all time, and not only has she exceeded over 230 million records worldwide, but also she has won 8 Grammys and so many others we don't even have room to list them. Needless to say, to be known as someone dating Rihanna, you would just have to come to terms with never having the upper hand in the relationship. And that is how J.R. Smith felt. Yes, Rihanna used to date J.R. Smith. The weird player who I never can understand landed Rihanna. So back in 2012, the couple was spotted out holding hands and getting cozy, and that's how we came to know that they were a thing. Smith obviously was known as being a cocky and bizarre player, often getting himself in more trouble than good, which is why this did not last very long. I mean, it's okay, you don't have a good career, but the best thing you can achieve is dating Rihanna, and why would someone ruin that? Well guys, that's it for today's video. Let us know which couple on this list was your favorite and you were shocked by the most in the comments down below. We hope you liked the video, thank you so much for watching until the end, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys next time.